Now, let's pick up on what we were talking about, the household travel survey report. Uh, to get, I heard, we heard from the CSIR, and I asked the question at the end, how does this inform public policy? Well, to get that take, we're joined by Gauteng's MEC for Public Transport and Roads Infrastructure, MEC Jacob Mama Bolo. Welcome, and many thanks for your time. Hi, good, good afternoon to you, to all the listeners, and let me thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, MEC, the, you, you would be familiar with the numbers. I'm working off a summary and, and just highlighting certain things, but let's start with the fact that people are traveling more, uh, spending more time traveling, working more, uh, walking more, and they are spending a greater proportion of their income on transport. It would suggest that the system increasingly is deteriorating as far as users uh, are concerned. Is that what the numbers are saying to you? Because that's what they're saying to me. Yes, John, thanks very much once more. Yes, we have the Houghton Province Household Travel Survey. Um, we commissioned the CSIR to do the, the survey for us. And um, indeed, the findings uh, of the survey paint a very worrying picture. Um, as far as households uh, are concerned, of course, and um, in relation to public transport. And just to confirm, the first very worrying matter is the increase in the travel time for trips. The report clearly indicates that uh, people are traveling much more longer or spending time uh, on the road. And that is definitely a function of many factors, but the most important one, the 80% factor, John, is uh, congestion. Uh, as you know, we are the economy of the province that comes with some challenges of its own, fast-growing uh, vehicle population, and um, uh, we increasing the uh, public transport infrastructure at a very slow pace. And uh, so what is happening is uh, congestion, more time, and that has its own impact, obviously, on productivity for learners in class, for workers at work, and for overall the economy. That's one of the issues that's been raised. Can I go to the second one with your permission? And that is travel uh, costs. Um, that also indicates, and we know households are financially depressed uh, prior to COVID-19, with COVID is going to make it even more worse. And this indicates that uh, about 60% of uh, public transport users um, spend uh, 10% of yes. their income um, yes, we 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 we, we 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 have that we have that stat MEC. So I'd like to look at its implications for you. The, if you, we bring in another yeah. figure, five percent of people are using trains and buses, which would be the cheaper means uh, mode of transport. Are those systems all but ineffective in in Gauteng, particularly the trains? Well, the two things, and that's where I was going to, what are the policy implications? Remember, one of the issues for us is that at least we, we have how train, which is, um, which is uh, helping us move people from the road and to make uh, you know, mobility better. But um, for overwhelming mass of the people who have relied on um, the Prasa uh, or Metro Rail, uh, um, which is not uh, in, in many respects literally not available to most of the people. People. The buses themselves have been severely and negatively impacted by COVID-19. Yes. Most of them don't have balance seats to uh, buy buses. We return a lot of money, almost half a billion, because buses did not claim it uh, because the cost of uh, running buses far exceeds uh, what they can make. So to that extent, people are going to the taxis, and there's a big complaint about the safety and security uh, of uh, relating to the taxis. So there's a huge negative impact on commuters. And what we are going to be doing is two things very much important. One is to have an integrated public transport system run by the Houghton Transport Authority, who are finalizing the appointment of the board with the post having closed. Right. That is 
the 80% sector for us to make sure that we optimize all public modes of transport in the province. Thank you very much. MEC Jacob Mamabolo joining us here on 702. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.